Well, greetings. This is James Gall with God Encounters Today podcast, where God encounters are for everyone. And yes, God encounters are especially for you. They really are. And this is my prophetic encounters podcast into the month of February 2024. This is really amazing. And so the theme for this time's Prophetic Encounters podcast is on, I wonder what you think it's on. It is tying together in on the lost art of practicing his presence. And it's coming from, in part, this wonderful book, The Lost Art of Practicing His Presence. Now, that's pretty good, isn't it? And the theme for this time is hearing the heartbeat of God. And so, just greetings to all of you who are new to this particular God Encounters Today podcast. And you might be new to this baritone bass resonance voice, or you might be have walked with me for many years. And so whether you're new or whether you've been with me for years, I just want to say you are in for a intimate, prophetic invitation to have your own special God encounter today. You really are. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this time together. And I am asking, Holy Spirit, draw near. I'm asking that you burst through the screen. I'm asking that the finger of God will break through the media. I'm asking for the voice of God to penetrate any deaf and dumb spirit. I'm asking for the God of the now to show up and to annihilate the religious spirit of our day. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Jesus, who is the same, not fake Jesus, not plastic Jesus, not only stained glass Jesus, but Jesus Christ, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever the same, that Jesus Christ the Lord, you are in charge right now. And I call forth that again, the power of the Holy Spirit descends upon people now. Oh, some of you are experiencing him now. Some of you who used to know certain dimensions and realms of him in the past are now already encountering him now. Because God is the God not only of the past, because there we build memorials. And this is not Memorial Day. But that, that's okay. But now faith is. And so I declare right now, more Holy Spirit. This is a prophetic encounter podcast. And I'm calling you right now. The Bible says if we will draw near to God, he will draw near to us. 
And so I am like giving a charge right now to myself and to the watchers and listeners and those who are going to now share this because there is going to be a multiplication anointing upon this very specific broadcast. It's going to have like a doubling cube anointing upon it, and it's going to get shared, and then it's going to get double shared, and then it's going to get quadruple shared. And every time it's going to get shared, the person that shares it is going to get a double blessing every time they share it. I don't know why I'm saying all of this. It's just that my knower is kicked into gear, folks. And so I bless you right now because we are going to be talking about hearing the very heartbeat of God. Don't you want that for your life? Don't you want to experience that? In a prophetic podcast, do you just want to be taught about things or do you want to encounter these realms? Well, if you want to encounter these realms, you just tuned in to the right place. (laughs) Yes, you did. Watch out, somebody just came under, and sometimes he causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Somebody's coming under the spirit of the fear of the Lord, and you are trembling right now. Uh Uh-huh. And it is the power of the God of God that is making you tremble right now. Yes, it is. Do you realize that you could be hearing God's voice through my voice? And I'm not being arrogant. But you could be hearing God's voice through the resonance, through the waves, through the sound waves. And in fact... You might not be hearing God's voice through my voice at all, but there is something that is going on right now, and you are getting back in tune with the Father's voice. And some of you have never known these ways at all, but Jehovah Jireh, who's more than enough, is showing up at your doorstep right now. Someone's, get this, doorbell just rang, but no one is actually there. But your doorbell just rang because someone is there. Because guess what? Someone is coming to dinner to your house tonight. (laughs) <laughs> Could I ever develop this stuff for a while? So why don't we? Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. And will anybody let me in? Some of you might want to just get up, put this thing on pause, and go to your door and let him in. Do a prophetic act right now, and it might not just be a prophetic act. It might be a literal act, because some of you have not let him in your homes for a long time. In fact, some of you have slid back, and there's a lot of mm, unclean speech that's been going on. And do you know what? He withdraws in his presence. Yeah, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Because he doesn't like it. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians to not, to don't let any unclean speech come from your mouth. Oh. 
And I could continue to quote many verses. But right now, guess what? Because of grace and mercy, he's knocking at the door of your home. And he's and and it's like, and he's wanting to clean house. Even on an issue like that. Uh-huh. He is. So go answer the door. Or maybe you don't have to go answer literally the door. Maybe what you need to do is answer the one, to the one who's knocking at the door of your heart. I'm not saying you don't know Jesus. That's, But maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. Maybe you used to. Or maybe you used to say that you did, and maybe you just went along with the crowd. Somebody right now is going to actually get to know Jesus. Would you like to get to know Jesus? What a friend we have in Jesus. And you even know some of these old songs. But you know what? You might know a song, but it doesn't know you know who the song is really about. But right now, whoa, you can. Because guess what? We are moving into a renew from renewal and refreshing. And you're tired of all of that anyway. You mock it, by the way, and you need to repent from mocking it at some point. And his presence actually started to, with gradually pulling back because you started scoffing the presence of... Did you hear me? Uh-huh. And your husband started making jokes. And it's not funny to God. And you might be showing this video right now, and guess what? It's not funny to God. And you might be laughing at me but it's not funny because sometimes it's sort of like you get one strike. It's like baseball. You get two strikes. I know I need mercy. I have made a lot of mistakes. But I know where to go to. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs and griefs and griefs. And is he ever patient with us there? And griefs to bear. Oh, because we do not. Carry everything to God in prayer. And I know I sang the lyrics out of order. And so don't you correct me that you don't think that I know, because I know I know. <laughs> now, the theme verse for today is, in hearing the heartbeat of God, in a God Encounters Today podcast, is John 1, verse 18. I think it is. <laughs> No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, 
He has declared him. I'm going to read from two different translations. It would be fun to read it from about four or five. Very simple verse, John 1, 18. Now, from a more emotive modern translation, that was the New King James, from the Passion Translation, John 1, 18. No one ever before gazed upon the full splendor of God except his uniquely beloved Son, who is cherished by his Father and held close to his heart. Now that he has come to us, he has unfolded the full explanation the full explanation of who God truly is. Father, thank you for this time. Now, the Passion Translation lays it straight out on the line, and it says this. No one has ever gazed upon the full splendor of God. Wow! except his uniquely beloved son. See, and Jesus is the exact representation of God. So if you've seen Jesus, no, but wait. No one has ever gazed upon the full splendor of God except his uniquely beloved son and held, who is cherished by the Father, and held close to his heart. There's the phrase I want us to look at. And held close to his heart. Now, the New King James. A very unique thought and phrase is given to us. No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father. He has declared him. Let's work on this just a little bit together in a Prophetic Encounters podcast. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what, what, were, what were these words? Bosom. And Passion Translation says heart. He is in the bosom of the Father. Hmm. Now, remember, in other places in the book of John, John chapter 14, it says, I go to, Jesus says, I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, there you may be also. It also says that he goes back to the place from where he came. So where did he come from? He came from the bosom of God. Well, what is the bosom of the Father? The bosom of God as explained in the Passion Translation, is the heart of God. Don't you love it? So, hang with me. So, who is Jesus? Jesus is the exact representation of God the Father. So, who is Jesus? Where did Jesus even come from? Because Jesus is an uncreated being. Jesus is the heart of God. Jesus came from the heart of God. Jesus is the heart of God. 
I go to prepare a place for you. That where I am, there you may be also. And in the Father's house, there's many dwelling places. And I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, there you may be also. Huh? Where did you come from? I came from the bosom. That sounds a little weird. <laughs> My book, The Lost Art of Practicing His Presence, which I have the entire new study guide, finally, coming out this week. So the entire curriculum kit of the book, The Study Guide, Practicing the brilliant presence of God with the MP3 and MP4, either audio or video classes of all the lessons to go with the study guide and the book is available. Your choice, okay? Now, that'll be starting available on Thursday. Podcast is on Tuesday. Now, listen to this from the chapter on Towards a Greater Union with Christ on the heart Hearing the heartbeat of God. Huh. Now, I wonder who was it that heard, that maybe heard the heartbeat of God? <laughs> the heartbeat of God is the sure sign of life. As long as the heart is beating, life is present. Jesus Christ is for us the very heartbeat of the Father. And you will remember from chapter 1 how John the beloved apostle reclined on the breast. Don't you like some of these phrases, words? The breast of Jesus during the Last Supper. John had the privilege of hearing the heartbeat of God. Later, John would write, No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten God who is in the bosom of the Father, he has explained him. Jesus, who is the bosom of the Father, he is the Father's heartbeat, has explained him. Through Jesus, we know the Father. When the Father sent Jesus to us, he sent his very best. He sent his heart. In John chapter 17, Jesus prays for everyone who believes in him, that we may all be one, even as you, Father, are in me and I in you, and that they also may be in us. This is what greater union with Christ is all about because the Father and the Son are one. And we become one with the Father in and through the Son. And His heart now is beating in us, beats in us. We are in His thoughts, His mind, and His plan. And God is seeking in us to fashion perhaps a mate suitable for his own heart. Holy intimacy, holy union, holy marriage. And what God joins together, let no man separate. The lost art of practicing his presence. Hmm. Hearing the heartbeat of God. John the Beloved, when he laid his head upon the chest, and one translation says breast, of the Messiah, what is it that he felt? What did he feel? Well, this is just in the natural, folks. What did he feel? He felt the rise and the fall 
of the chest wall. Why? Because of breath entering in and air going out. In him we live and breathe and have our very being. You say, this is a Prophetic Encounters podcast. It is. What did he feel when he laid his head upon the chest of someone who became his savior, his master, his lord, his healer, and his friend. He felt the warmth of belonging. This is my first time to include that statement. I've taught this stuff for years. He felt the warmth of belonging. That's huge. What did he hear? Again, he felt the rise and the fall of wind going in and out, perhaps, of the chest wall. He felt it, and he felt the warmth of belonging. What did he hear? He heard the wind, perhaps. He heard breath, you do. I have been with uh, many people when they depart. And I have laid my head this is too much. I laid my head upon the chest, the breast of Michael Ann Gall. Her birthday is on Valentine's Day when this comes out. And I knew when life had departed. You know, when I worked at a nursing home, I had the most peculiar job. And I worked at a hospital. And I would, this is hard, I would be in a room and I was assigned to chart and watch the vital signs, the vital signs of heartbeats of when people would depart. <laughs> what did he hear? He hear sounds. Do you know what John the Beloved heard? He heard the heartbeat of the Creator. He heard a heart beating inside of the Creator and the longing of his heart to be in union with his. Have you ever longed for your heart to be in greater union? I have. I must move on. I'm going to give you some questions to reflect upon, as I do in this book. <clears throat> One. What does it mean to abide in Christ? I'm not answering this question for you. 
One, what does it mean to abide in Christ? Two, according to Brother Lawrence, who I teach about in this book, how do you practice the presence of Jesus or even forget about the writings of Brother Lawrence? Let me ask you, number one, what does it mean to abide in Christ? Number two, how do you practice the presence of Jesus? And number three, from the writings of Paul the Apostle, what are some of the key scriptures? Going to give you some homework for a prophetic podcast. From the writings of Paul the Apostle, what are some of the key scriptures that speak of union with Christ? Is it just a mystical, romantic term, or does Paul the Apostle talk about it? One, I have three things for you. One, what does it mean to Abide in Christ. Hint. Look at John 15. Two. How do you practice the presence of Christ? Three. From the Pauline epistles, the writings of the Apostle Paul. What are some of the key scriptures? that speak of union with Christ. I have three basic things for us today. Number one, hearing the heartbeat of God. Looking at the example of John the Beloved. Number two, three reflection questions. And in closing, number three. Right now, pause. Stop. You can write those three questions down, but you're not going to answer them now. They're homework. But right now, stop. Pause. Quit. Say law. Pause. Prophetic podcast. Right now. Today, do you hear what I hear? Let him who has ears hear what. The Spirit is saying to the church. All ears on. James Gall says, All ears on. In this podcast, which is going a little long. I am challenging you. Put your ears on. And I am not telling you what the Holy Spirit is now saying. I'm challenging you. You can be a John the Beloved. You can answer those three questions. About. What does Paul say. In the scriptures. About a greater union with Christ. 
How do you practice the presence of God? What does it mean to abide in Christ? Those are the three. And I leave you with this. What are you hearing? Right now. I wish I could tell you what I hear. Do you hear the rise and the fall of a chest wall? Do you hear the heartbeat? A storm. I hear rain. Do you hear what I hear? This is James W. Gall with Gone Encounters Today. The lost art of practicing his presence. It's for you. So it won't be a lost art. I bless you. May the rising of the sun of God be upon you. May the brilliance of his great presence shine. And may your ears be opened that you may know that you, oh no. John 1, 18. No one has seen God at any time, only the begotten Son, who is in the bosom of God. But you will know this. You have been invited. Period. This is James Gall, Gone Encounters Today podcast, where God encounters are for everyone, and God encounters have just become yours. Amen and amen. God bless you.